What's up guys, Stefan Ciancio here, the action taking blogger. You may notice that my video looks a little bit more clear than usual today. I did get a brand new camera for my YouTube channel. So things are getting pretty serious around here. Uh, like I said, my top goal now is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. You can be part of that to make that happen. And of course it benefits you as I'm always putting out tons of awesome, actionable content for businesses of any size, people that want to start a business, people that want to grow their traffic, and everything of the sort. So if you want to join aboard the Action Taking Tribe, definitely hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, and then hit the little bell to make sure you get notified of all future videos. Today we're going to be talking about content research and how you can use it to get viral traffic to your business blog or wherever you want to send it. All right, let's get into it. Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about content research and how you can use it to get viral traffic. So one of the most powerful tools for doing content research is a website called BuzzSumo. So what's cool about BuzzSumo is you can literally head to BuzzSumo and type in a certain topic and then see uh, what all the most viral topics across all the social media platforms are. So you can get an idea of finding which content you want to have on your your thing here. So you can see here, um, this t topic actually went... Uh, viral people who talk to their pets are actually smarter than those who don't so right away we found a content topic that if we're in the dog niche that we can absolutely use you can see it got 1.1 million shares on Facebook uh, science confirms that dogs can recognize a bad person um, that's interesting and that got 904 thousand likes another one is hilarious guide to dog breed that will help you choose your next dog so choosing your dog is definitely a topic uh, that people are interested in, um, uh, adopting dogs. Um, so these are all topics that are very popular. I think a great one to start with would be the uh, people who talk to their pets are actually smarter than those who don't. So what you can actually do with that information that I'm going to show you, and the first thing you want to do to actually start doing something with that is go to this website keywordseverywhere.com and install the uh, extension. I have it installed right here. It's this thing right here. Um, and what it's going to do, I'll show you in a second what it's going to do, but in a nutshell it's going to allow you to get a lot more data that will be helpful towards you picking a good keyword because now we have a topic, right? We know that we want to target uh, content related to people who talk to their pets. Um, so let's see if we go to this uh, tool keyword shitter. Uh, don't mind the name, it's just the name of it. Um, but once you have this installed, Keywords Everywhere, you can come to Keyword Shitter and get even more out of it. So uh, should I talk to my dog, right? Let's pick a keyword that's relevant to um, what we just saw in that article. So what's happening now that's really cool is all these keywords are being shat out by the tool, as it, it would say. And we could come down here and we can actually get some data on these keywords. So how many people are searching it and what they're paying for. This is what they're paying for in Google Ads for the uh, keywords. So we can actually see which keywords are people actually searching for if we wanted to target a keyword. So you can see that this, this didn't really get us uh, too much. It doesn't look like... Um, too many people search for anything related to talking to your dog so uh, it's still looking for variations but so far everything's coming up mostly zero so we can actually try a different keyword uh, let's see let's stop it I'm gonna go back to keywordshitter.com okay okay so let's try again talking to dogs Talking to, we'll just do it simple, talking to dogs. Let's see what comes out. Okay, now um, immediately we see that we found a better keyword. Talking to dogs gets 370 searches a month and people are paying a little bit of money for this keyword in uh, Google PPC. Another one, babies talking to dogs, 390 searches. Talking to dog about bacon, 2400 searches a month. So if we go down, we could see that there are so many different keywords, and we're getting a little bit of better results uh, than we were getting the first time around. But it looks like talking to dogs about bacon. Uh, that could be a funny post in itself, and it does get a decent amount of search, and I'm willing to bet that the competition for that is probably pretty low. So uh, let's keep going down. I don't really see any talking dogs funny, uh, talking dog games. That's not really related. Uh, talking to... Let's uh, reload the page real quick. 
talking to your dog. Let's see what that comes up with. Okay, talking to your dog. That gets a thousand searches a month and people search for it uh, in PPC. So that might be a great one for you to target. Um, we already know that uh, people who talk to their pets are actually smarter than those who don't. So we could say, we could target something like, you know, uh, here's some, you know, talking to your dog actually means you're smart or something like that. And then you could make an article that does the research behind that. And now not only did you use BuzzSumo to find a topic that people are interested in, but you also found a keyword that you could target. And by doing so, uh, you have a, a great keyword to target for your article, which now has a chance to rank in the search engines because you know people are searching for the keyword. You know, a big mistake people make is that they try to create content around what they think. And in doing so, they actually are not going after what people are actually looking for. You have to look for what people actually want. So we, we did that research here, right? We saw what people are actually interested in, and then we found a keyword around that as well. So now we're actually going to the market rather than hoping that the market is going to come to us and it's a huge distinction that you need to make in business because without it you could be ending up putting out content that no one cares about you got to take yourself out of the equation so in a nutshell that's kind of how you can go about doing your content research to get viral traffic it's very very powerful start with um, buzzsumo download keywords everywhere and then use keyword shitter and you'll find variations if we come down we'll see let's see what else we find just to make sure there's not even an even better one but I think we found our winner at a thousand searches a month now obviously a thousand searches a month isn't going to be like you're going to get a ton of hits overnight but that's a great keyword to target it's small enough that you should definitely be able to rank for it with time on some level and again it's a topic that people are interested in you know you can write about it and we know that it could even get a ton of viral shares so it can go viral and that's kind of the benefit of doing proper content research using the right tools so one thing I'll show you here, this is um, my, one of my sites, Doggy Desires, and um, I, you know, I was doing the same research that I was just showing you, and one of the, the articles that I had was 10 signs that your dog is happy, and I did see some great viral uh, results doing that. So um, I'll actually even come here and I'll type in my, uh, let's see if I type in my site, what comes up. Let's see what my viral content is. So let's go to Pinterest shares. So, hmm, it's weird. It's well, let's see, past two years. Expect a free plan. So let's try again. Oh, sorry. Oh, I see. You have to log in uh, to be able to see it. But if you go to my two-year shares, you'll see that I had one that got well over ten thousand shares. Uh, that is great. So um, obviously I couldn't show you right now because you need to log in and buy an account. But uh, using just the, the BuzzSumo for free, you can get a few searches a day. So again, that's very, very powerful to be able to know. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the new camera so quality of videos will be a little better, at least when I'm showing my face to you. Um, that's it for now. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want more awesome action-taking content. I would love to have you as part of the action-taking tribe, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you have something you want to see or something you want to say, definitely I look forward to seeing you in the comments. That's it for now. Action-takers, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.